Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve the issue you have when browsing the internet. Specifically if it says your DNS server might not be available. So this could definitely be very tedious if you're using the internet and all of a sudden you start getting this network changed error. And basically it means you can't access the web page you're trying to get to. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be walking you guys through how to hopefully resolve that. So the first thing that I would personally recommend is actually to reset your modem or internet connected device. So whether it means actually turning off the internet on your physical laptop or desktop, or manually turning off the power to your adapter and then waiting a few minutes or a couple minutes and then turning it back on, I find that that resolves a lot of this problems associated with this issue. If that does not do the fix for you guys, I do have one further step we can take, and that would be to right click on the start button. Then you want to left click on where it says command prompt and then in parentheses admin. And you want to left click on that. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. So now in this command prompt, we want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Please note the space in between ipconfig and the forward slash. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. We see that we have successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. And then I would check your internet connection to see if that resolved your problem. If not, we're going to move on to our next command. And that would be to type in netsh space int space ip space set space dns and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. So then at this point you want to type in NET SH space Winsock space reset. So make sure you're spelling this all correctly here. We're going to type in NET SH space Winsock space reset. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard and we see that we have successfully reset the Winsock catalog and it's recommending that we restart our computer for the changes to take effect. So hopefully this resolved your problem, guys, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.